right you guys i know the title was pretty graphic but today we are talking about bad luck i had to make the title just as dramatic as some of the questions i get about the bath bums okay so that's what we're going to be discussing today my favorite brands price point what are bad bums what do they do um and why do i love them so much and i, and I will share with you guys bath bums from about around five companies that i deal with a lot um, no particular order. I'm just gonna go down the line for so you. Guys. I guess the reason why I say that everybody always asks me such dramatic questions is because I've already answered every question anyone could ask. I understand some people don't watch every single last one of my videos, but I have answered every question about bath bums. So I decided to dedicate one entire video to it. So the number one question is, what is a bath bum? Basically, is a fizz in the tub. It sets off in the tub as soon as it hits the water. There are different type of bath bums. Some of them are just strictly to change the color of your bath water, to um, give you an aroma. And some of them actually have oils and some of them even have medicated stuff in them like menthol and all of that. So when you're picking your bath bombs, make sure you pay close attention to see if they provide other services besides scent. And now, you guys are saying, what is the point of getting a bath bomb just for scent or color? I feel like those bath bombs are perfect. I'm like... <laughs> are perfect for kids like if you have kids who don't like to take baths or something they love bath bombs because they just want to see the water turn colors and so bath bombs that don't have anything else in them but scent and color are really good for stuff like so, that. the number one question i always get is will it irritate your vagina now i did a video a pamper day routine video and i already answered that I do not bathe in bath water. Mm. I soak in bath water. It's a big difference. So when I run my bath water, I put my bath bombs, my Epsom salt, everything, bubble bath in there, and I just relax. I watch YouTube, I read a book, or whatever. Then I get up and take a shower. So I guess that's where the confusion is coming in where people ask, do it irritate your vagina? Now, in the Pamper Day routine, I did put do not spread eagle in the tub, which means if you're soaking, just... Hey, you guys, I don't know where I left fall because my camera died but i think i was telling you guys about i have absolutely no idea <sighs> i don't know let's just start over and let's just start over another thing i want to a lot of people keep asking me if they irritate down there and i would just say honey I don't know your body. That's just like your face. You're sensitive. I might not be. I can't tell you what's going to irritate you down there. I mean, I'm not down there. I don't plan on being down there. So you have to listen to your own body. They don't irritate me. And I have a very, I'm very sensitive Even down there. When I buy a Bath and Body Works Victoria's Secret body wash and stuff, I don't put it right there. I use my regular Dove or whatever right there. And I put all of that soap on other parts of my body. So I don't. I don't see why anybody would put any kind of like Victoria's Secret bath bombs and stuff right there. That's just not smart. But some people can handle that. But if you know you can't, just don't do it. I have <laughs> never broke out or had an irritation from a bath bomb ever, knock on wood, somewhere. <laughs> ever broke out from a bath bomb. But like I said, I'm not in the tub like, eh. You get what I'm saying? Keep it right, keep it tight, and soak. <sighs> Like I said, after I get out the tub, I just take a regular shower. That's when I shower. I just use this as pamper, relax, get my muscles, you know, relax because I'm on my feet a lot and I move around a lot. I don't just take the towel with the bath with the water and <laughs> I can't do all that. This thing precious. Question number two Do they stain your bathtub? No. If your tub is clean, honey. <laughs> I always use the teeth comparison. If you brush your teeth and you drink red soda, they won't stain. If you, br you don't brush your teeth and you drink red soda, everybody would know you didn't brush your teeth that morning. Basically, if your tub is good and clean, the bath bombs won't stain. Question number three I get all the time is how do I store them? Now, if they come in plastic like the dollar bath bombs do, I just put them in a little container like this. Also, the Shop Miss A bath bombs, they're fairly new to me. They come in, ugh, they come in plastic. Also, 
So you just store them in a basket, a bucket. I see a lot of people putting them in glass vases with the top on them. But if you don't have anything, if you're going to, like if you go to Lush, they just put them in a brown paper bag. No, you need to put them in a dark, cool space. Bath bombs do not like light. So store them in like a storage bucket or something like this closed off or they'll lose their fizz really quick okay guys so i forgot what number i was on but the next question is how long do they last now i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna show you guys some bath bombs from dollar tree i've had them over a year because when i found them i like bought bulks of them i know but because also if you're on my snapchat you know i use three to four bath bombs at a time so that's why i buy so many people are always like did you leave us any but i'm sorry i put like three or four different ones in my water at a time and i take baths two to three times a week so i soak two to three times a week because platinum is old and these bones be hurting okay so um typically i win three to six months depending on how tight it's closed and how you store it but those dollar tree bath bombs they don't have any fizz to them anymore when i first got them they would pop off and fizz but now they're old so i'm trying to get rid of them but luckily i only have three left so i just still put them in my water and let them slow dissolve but yeah after a while the bath bombs do lose their fizz so don't be trying to keep them if you see them on sale you better use them all up do the 100 bath bomb challenge or something because three to six months later they slowly start losing their fizz now you have to pay attention because lush has a bath bomb that slow fizzes that's the point of it so you know play it by now, ear some people ask me on snapchat why do i use so many it's a personal a bubble bath epsom salt two to three bath bombs because i would like the way one of them will have cocoa butter and one of them will have menthol one of them i like the color so i just make a big concoction in the tub um yeah and i just love it i just it's just it's me time you guys i need me time now i do see a lot of do-it-yourself bad bun videos on youtube feel free i think it's bacon soda and a few other things but i barely got time to cook i can't be in the lab making no bad bun so it's just cheaper for me to buy them pay one dollar and buy them <laughs> so i think i've answered all of you guys questions what i would do right now is put in clips of my favorite and some new ones that i got to go in a little detail about what each bath bomb do and why i like them and yeah let's get to it okay guys i'm recording from my phone because my battery died so it might look a little different but this is fantasy bombs i'm unboxing this i have not used these yet it's a new company to me but I thought I would share them with you guys since we are discussing bath bombs, right? So, having a very pretty box like this. Now, what I do know is this is a monthly subscription type box and all of them have themes, okay? So, this is the April Easter box right here and it just has every single bath bomb and it also will come with a soap and the ingredients right here okay and this is it right here right here right here you guys know i will leave all of the information below i love the packaging of these bath bombs okay so this is sweet pink um it has floral in it this one right here is fruity festival this smells just like fruit loops or something like that then we have april air which is this blue one right here and then this one right here is spring green this one actually has aloe vera in it okay and this soap right here is called golden rose isn't that so i will put the price of the subscription across the screen because you can do monthly every three months um every six months and yearly and what i also like about them is if you there is one bath bomb here you like specifically you can buy that one bath bomb after that month um, or you can just buy one bath bomb if you can't afford the whole box. So you do have options on this. So 98% is natural and organic ingredients. The other 2% um, comes from the dye, but the dyes are FDA approved, kind of like the dyes that they put in shampoo, conditioner, and all of that. So you guys are As safe. mentioned above, a monthly box is $33 a month, and then the price go up if you want every three months and etc. Um, they are $7 each if you just want one and the shipping is free in the United States including Alaska and Hawaii. It's kind of like a soft pre-lunch. You can go on the website and sign up and you will get a 10% off code when the boxes are ready. I will make sure that I put the link below. 
go ahead and sign up so you can be notified when they are ready and the site is up and jumping so you can enjoy your bath bath. Right. The last thing I want to share is that after this month, their lunch, every other month, the boxes will ship on the 20th of every month, if that, between the 19th and the 20th. So I will put all the information below. I can tell you right now, scent wise, my favorite one is Fruity Festival. I don't know why I just love really fruity like scents. I'm not really into floral. I'm I'm not really into lavender either, but I like purple and most um, lavender bad bums are purple. So yeah, make sure you guys check them out and I'll leave all of their information. So right here we have my bad bums from Shop Miss A, you guys. These bad bumps are $2.50 online, but if you are in Dallas, the only Shop Miss A store is in Dallas. You can go into Grapevine Mills Mall and they are a dollar in the store. Online, they charge more because bad bumps are heavy. And so they charge more because they know they're going to have to ship them. So they kind of compensate for it in shipping, if that makes sense. They have a variety of scents. One of the scents I really, really like, which is the blue one, I don't have in here, but I'll just go over the scents for you guys real quick. They are called F Bums, and this one is Purple Haze. Um, the orange one is La Orange. This green one is Zing. This one is Pink Dream, the pink one. The yellow one is Lemon. We have a white one right here, and it is in Decompressed. Now, I know Shop Miss A Bad Bums have crushed roses in it i want to say and i will scroll the rest of the ingredients across the screen because they do have some type of oil in them i just don't know what it is off the top of my head okay you guys so shop miss a bath bums aren't just color they do have oil in it and i will leave the link to shop miss a below also so here's my favorite 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 bath bomb place in the world dollar bath bums you guys the only complaint i will have about dollar bath bums is the shipping can get kind of pricey but like i mentioned before these things are heavy to ship so the companies have to make sure that they're not at a loss um trying to ship cheap and you know you guys know how shipping is the reason why i love dollar bath bums yeah i just love them i, I don't they fizz off so powerful um, they smell so freaking good. They ship fast. They wrap them up really, really good. Um, you see they are each individually bubble wrapped. And so, yeah, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite scents. Of course, you guys. Oh, let me explain. Dollar Bath Bums. The regular line Bath Bums are $1. And they are just color and scent, okay? Now, they have a $3 line. This is one of their $3 line Bath Bums right here. And all of their $3 line bath bums have coconut oil and cocoa butter in them. Now, they also have ring bums, which are around 7 bucks, And basically, it's just a regular bath bum like this. But once it dissolves, you will have a little bitty bubble, like a bubble gum machine thing in there. And a ring will be inside. And I'm not talking about a cheap ring. I wish I had my ring. Turn the water off so you guys can hear me, but this is the ring bum. After it dissolves, there's a ring in the middle. Let's Disclaimer, this is not a part of their dollar line. So, do not run to the site thinking it's going to be a dollar. Well, basically, their regular line are like these plain. This is green apple. This is one of my favorite. Um, This one right here is lilac. My all-time favorite is peach. I love this peach scent, you guys. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I think this one is blueberry. And then I only have, okay, this is their newest one, as you wish, that I helped name. It's like this pretty blue and um, pink. Sorry, I'm recording with my phone, so I'm holding it. Look at that. That is beautiful. This one is sweet pink. It's pink and white. And then this one right here is... Watermelon lemonade. This smells so good. And they have another one that I really like. Where is it? Oh, it's not in here. So yeah, check Dollar Bath Bums out. A lot of you guys use them now. I see you guys hollering them, shouting me out on Instagram and I random bucket right here. 
<sighs> it used to be full of lush honey but platinum barely buy lush now because they're like seven or eight dollars i can get seven bad bums for that <laughs> Um, but if you love Lush, my favorite bath bomb from Lush is the Sex Bomb, okay? The pink and purple Sex Bomb. But this is one of my favorites. As you guys can see, I'm almost out. This is a stress reliever. I like to bathe with that. Need to go get some more. But let's get to the bath bombs. There's this two different kind in here I want to tell you guys about. Now, these are at Dollar Tree. And they are called the Bath Fizzers. They're at Dollar Tree and... They're the stress bath bums. They're for stress. They melt. You soak and let the stress melt away, okay? This is lemon and mint. This one right here is lavender. And this one is shea butter. Argan and shea butter. And it's a turquoise one. I think one of them has mango in it. And they recently just put out a new scent that I don't have. So check them out if you're in your local Dollar Tree. They're a dollar also. Now, this is what everybody was asking me about. I don't know if you guys saw where I did my one of those overwhelming blogger hauls i think i showed you guys that i got these valentine's day yes bath and body works has bath bums and you guys keep telling me like somebody went back and forth with me on snapchat one day and i'm like darling i've hauled those already where you guys are probably getting confused is because bath and body work bath bums look like this but i showed these which is the exact same thing they're just shaped in a heart instead of they're round because i got them around valentine's day so instead of them being round they're shaped like a heart but it's the exact same thing sweet pea you know all the regular sense of bath and body work now these right here are 750 some of them are 650 and they don't test on animals and i'm trying to see if they have any kind of oils or anything in them um i actually they are called bath fizzies, but you will see them around. Remember, I got these around Valentine's Day. And Victoria's Secret has bath bombs now, too. But let me tell you, for $7.50, mm, I think they're overpriced. But you guys know you're paying for Bath and Body Work name. Now, what I will say is after I got out the tub from using these, my body, the scent stuck on my body. So I guess they are good for that. Because a lot of bath bombs, they're cute in the tub. They smell good, but when you get out, you don't smell like the bath bomb. With Bath and Body Work, they do, but they are overpriced to me, so I don't think I will buy any more unless they go on sale or unless I have a All right, you guys, now that's the scoop on Bath Bombs. I hope I filled you guys in pretty as much as I could. I know I left something out, but feel free to leave it below. There are Bath Bombs everywhere. You can get them at Target, Walmart, have them by the bags. Whole Foods even have them, TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls. Just make sure you read the ingredients in them and see if your skin agrees with them. That's the best advice I can give you all, okay? So, I will leave all of the links below to everything. I will also leave the other videos, my pamper routine and all that below so you can see how I use them. And yeah, honey, that's the tea. Thanks for watching.